recent study shows that female entrepreneurs make up only 21 percent of those looking for money from angel investors. Aidan Senkut wants to help fund more of those entrepreneurs. He was the 63rd person hired at Google since leaving that company in 2005. He's become an angel investor and has put money in at least a dozen companies recently started by women. Forbes recently named him one of the, quote, elite eight to watch in venture capital, and he's with us now. Bloomberg Business Week also just called him one of the top 25 angel investors. So you've got an eye for talent, Aiden. Uh, why aren't there more female entrepreneurs? Are they not asking for funding, or are they just not getting it? Uh, Margaret, I think um, the, the issue is one where I think with time, it's, it's going to uh, even itself out. Uh, one of the interesting trends we're seeing uh, is that out of uh, the number of female entrepreneurs and CEOs we've seen in the four years, uh, we've seen that same number in the last 12 months. So there's certainly an upwards trend, a positive trend of seeing a lot more uh, women founders uh, and CEOs. So uh, while there is an imbalance, uh, there is an encouraging trend uh, towards seeing more of them. Uh, and a greater diversity of companies started by women and led by women. Um, and I think that's extremely encouraging, especially given some awesome role models and very talented role models I had a chance to work with at Google, like Marissa Meyer and Sheryl mm -hmm. Sandberg, who's now at Facebook. Yeah, and Sheryl Sandberg actually just gave a commencement address up at Barnard. Uh, I and saw that. got a lot of attention because she said flat out, 100%, I have been treated differently and I have been criticized because of my gender in Silicon Valley. And she thought that um, there's really a penalty uh, placed uh, on being female in Silicon Valley. Is that what you found? Um, I can't really tell that from my own experience. I mean, interestingly, growing up, my mother was my role model, and uh, I, and I was fortunate enough to work in, in a company like Google, which I think went out of its way uh, to give uh, women uh, an equal, if not better, chance of succeeding. We had a great number of female executives. Uh, also, we were very generous with uh, maternity uh, plans, mm -hmm. and we really tried to support. I don't necessarily see a negative bias, but I certainly see an imbalance in the numbers, especially in the VC community. We have a very small team of four people, for instance, but it's 50-50. So I think uh, you will see a more positive trend moving forward of both an increase in the number of female uh, entrepreneurs and CEOs, as well as hopefully also in the venture community to kind of try to move beyond and get more diversity. Well, let's talk about some of the companies you're investing in and the value uh, proposition that they presented to you, because sure. that's what you deploy money based on. So uh, talk to me about some of these companies. Uh, a lot of them seem to be in, in more of a consumer business. Uh, yes, and that's partly also because our focus is in consumer internet and mobile companies. Um, our experience and our observation is that um, uh, women CEOs and entrepreneurs tend to have a very uh, uh, an impeccable talent on personalization and the curation aspect of the web. Uh, we're seeing uh, definitely a strong t a trend towards that uh, with increased competition and increased number of companies. Uh, curation and personaliz personalization becomes an important element. Like food spotting? That's food one of the spotting is a really great example. So uh, it's, a, it's a very interesting mobile company with hundreds of thousands of uh, users and it is essentially allows you to discover great food uh, that is close to you. It's a mobile app. It's very successful and uh, present in both Silicon Valley and New York with uh, two uh, female founder and uh, uh, Alexa uh, Andreevsky who's the CEO. What's Wild Needle? Wild Needle is a, uh, a new gaming company uh, and uh, it's essentially uh, trying to incorporate location into the game and gaming element and uh, they're going to be coming up with some very interesting concepts there. And that's Heidi Carson, she's that a, is Heidi the Carson. founder there. Hearsay and Wildfire, tell me about those. Sure, uh, Hearsay was started uh, by Clara Shi, who's also a CEO of the company. Uh, Clara comes from the Salesforce background and the idea there is uh, to kind of bring uh, the next uh, element to CRM and pay more attention to uh, uh, platforms like Facebook and how they, that can play into the customer relationship management aspect for enterprise companies. Uh, on the wildfire, I think it's a very, very exciting company. Went from seven to 120 people. Uh, and uh, Victoria Ransom is the CEO there. Mm -hmm. And the idea is social marketing software, so interactive campaigns for people that are doing uh, 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 marketing on Facebook. Uh, good examples of some big names, Target, Unilever, Toyota. Um, so, so very exciting, very exciting company. 
And when you put money into these companies or some of the others that, that you funded up to this point, to what degree um, are you already contemplating uh, an exit and looking at that time horizon, given uh, the number of IPOs that we know are coming yeah. and have seen, LinkedIn, you know, Zynga's on its way. What are you seeing in terms of planned exits? Um, so we've definitely been very fortunate. We had uh, over 19 uh, exits to date, and all of them have been acquisitions. And certainly we are uh, very encouraged by the IPO trend because quite a few of our companies have been bought by Twitter, uh, by companies like Google, Twitter, uh, Groupon, uh, which are on the IPO trend uh, uh, and or, or might consider an IPO uh, in the future. So we're very encouraged by that. Um, when we are investing in companies, we don't necessarily think immediately of the exit potential, but we're basically thinking of what fundamental and critical value the companies bring to the table. And if that's exciting to us, it's in our focus area and it's something we can help with. And, and we've been very fortunate to see a great diversity of companies, and especially when it comes to women founders, uh, areas like e-commerce, mm -hmm. social media and education seem to be hot area. And uh, good for us is also areas that we're very interested in investing. All right, Aiden, uh, well, thanks for highlighting these companies to us. And uh, we'll post them on our show uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, so you can take a look at some of the names that Aiden just threw out at you. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Great to be here. Uh